we are developing the next generation of instruments for planetary exploration. In order to keep the European leadership on this technology. The Pioneer Consortium develops instruments as well as simulate what we can get from these instruments. I'm Rafael Garcia, professor at CISA Superhero. I am coordinating the uh, Pioneers project. Pioneers is developing seismometers for uh, space exploration. This is such an exciting project that we really would like to share our results with, uh, with everybody because in the end this is a topic that concerns all of us. The Pioneers project aims at developing the next generation of instruments that will be deployed on the surface of the planet and the small bodies. Exploring space and pushing the limits of, of technology of instrumentation to go there and to really find out what is out there, how does it work, where do we come from. Why is it so important to know about the deep interior of asteroid? Well, asteroid may come to the Earth and impact the Earth, so it's also very important to know how they are formed in order to be able to protect the Earth. Our new instrument is a very interesting instrument. In the science of seismology, since decades, we measure the translational motion. So it's an up and down, a left and right, and a back and forth motion. And while it was always clear from theory that uh, in an elastical body, during elastic wave propagation, also rotational motions are involved. We are providing two types of sensor. Uh, one type of sensor for translation, and also one type of sensor for rotation with three gyroscopes. The three rotations are along x-axis, y-axis and z-axis. And that is the beauty of this instrument. Basically we have three technical packages. The first one is that we will be able to make cutting-edge sensor with the highest performance that we've never done. By developing the new optical interferometry tools that will allow these great performances. It's larger and could be delivered to a planet like Mars or the Moon. That will be at least 100 times better than the Apollo seismometer that were deployed in the 70s. We will do some space qualified gyroscope and in this instrument we will try to put 12 kilometers of optical fiber that we will wind and then we will use it as a sensor. So it's a very large sensor with very high performance and the coil is very difficult to make, so we have to develop special tool in our plant in Brittany. We are trying to use the same technology from the uh, interferometry point of view to use it on the translational sensor. And this will give us very high accuracy and high dynamic range. Uh, the displacement we are measuring is less than one atom. We are working with femtometers. It's mind blowing. The second instrument that we target is a compact model that has lower performances that will be deployed on asteroid bodies. High performance sensor for a compact instrument. They're trying to uh, reduce uh, the power consumption and the size. To be integrated in very small spacecraft. In order to measure both their vibration under quakes or thermal cracks and their rotation variations under tides. All this information will be used to reconstruct the internal structure of these planetary bodies. In uh, roughly a year, we will have this uh, compact instrument ready, and I hope in the short term we will be able to send it to some asteroid. And finally, another more package is handling the integration, testing, and space radiation, a qualification of these instruments. And both instruments are developed in parallel so that we are ready to go when there will be a mission call. This project allows to increase the scientific collaboration around space instruments in Europe. One of the very interesting aspects about this project is actually the collaboration between scientists and industry, and this is all happening on a European platform. The Pioneers project is the project involving uh, four laboratories and one company uh, that is funded at the level of 3 million euros by the European Commission. This project is part of the Horizon 2020 program. And this program is very important not only for the technological and scientific developments that those uh, companies are making, but also for the cooperation aspect. This type of collaboration uh, is always a bit uh, challenging. Uh, different countries, uh, an industry, some research lab. And also many interfaces between the instruments uh, that we are developing in the by the different partners. But here, 
it uh, it works. It works because the goal sending this small box to a planet and make this measurement is very exciting, and also because the people are passionate about space. Currently, the project provided a specification for the instruments to be developed in the framework of the project. The two instruments are currently at prototype level and demonstration of their performances have been achieved. So the next step after the pioneer project would be to be selected on a space mission in direction of the moon or the asteroids.